Welcome back guys and girls, this is now Choking Grounds, this is not Darksiders 1, all in one guide. So this will be the last time we ever need to come back to Choking Grounds. So on the map, so I'm in front of the doorway where the big golem was, after I moved him. You probably remember it already, but you need to head back to this area since we've got the crossblade and the gauntlet now we can get this collectible that we couldn't get before. So you should remember this area already, this is where we got the wraith shard in this area but we couldn't continue up any further because this red thing was blocking the way so with your crossblade aim at the fire then aim at the explosive and that takes care of the crossblade now we just need the gauntlet so as soon as you climb here you'll see the um, stone ice or well, like yeah the blue stuff and you'll see after you smash that with your gauntlet you'll see the light shard Life Stone Shard, sorry, number 8. Okay, how to get to this location? So as soon as you leave the area with the Life Stone number 8 you just got by using the Gauntlet and the Crossblade. As soon as you leave that area you'll climb back up the hole you drop down to get to it. As soon as you climb up the hole you're back on the, like the road. You can turn left or right. Turn left and you'll enter the doorway. If you're still not sure what I'm talking about, watch the video from the start and you'll notice a big massive opening in front of me. Okay, we're going to head to Dry Roads, but at the moment we're still in Scolding Gallo. This is where the artifact is. It's still in the location of Scolding Gallo. So on your way to Dry Roads, so you're pretty much really, really close to Dry Roads right now. So you have to jump up here anyway. Jump up the ledges and you'll be in a pipe. Don't go left, go right, and you'll find the artifact hidden in plain sight. So now, we're now actually in Dry Road, and there's only two collectibles in Dry Roads. So this is Lifestone Shard number 9, the requirement is none, and there's also a artifact soldier, I believe that's number 12, no, 13, and the requirement for that one is none as well. So as soon as you run into uh, the dry road, you'll get a cutscene like this. And you'll get spawned back into the middle of the road. So all you need to do now is jump back up here that I'm trying to get up. And continue the path on. Go past the wall and you'll notice the lifestone shard chest. That will be number 9. Okay, from the last location, this will be an artifact soldier number 13. Once again, the requirement is none. So on your way to um, Volgrim's lair, or hideout, turn left and you'll notice a artifact. Also from the artifact drop down and you can grab the crate if you want to, it's got salt in it. Okay we're gonna, now going to go back into um, Scolding Gallo because I just remembered one of these um, armour pieces, this is probably the only one that I remembered. So we're going back to Scolding Gallows. For this one we need the Shadow Flight. So head back to the Scolding Gallow. So as soon as we spawn next to uh, Volgrim, there will be a big massive hole in the wall on the left hand side. Cannot miss it. Now we're going to jump, but delay the double jump until you get lower down. Then use your um, Snow snow flight, shadow flight. Follow the only path possible and pick up your armor piece. Now we're going to head into the Ashlands. So go back to uh, the dry roads continue on. So once you eventually get here, you have to get past all these three um, Celian monsters. Well grab you when you try to go across the rope. Once you've eventually done that, get past them all you'll be in this pipe here. So as part of the story you have to come through this way anyway. You'll notice a hole in the pipe on the left hand side. Ignore what it just did then. Go through the hole. As soon as you get to the top, turn around and go over the top of the hole now. Here we go and you'll notice a, um, a blue stone here. So destroy that with your gauntlet and you'll see lifestone shard at number 10. Okay, quite a ways away into Badlands. Eventually you will stop this um, drill 
or digger. So I'm just showing you where I am at the moment. So this digger right here, dash drill, you need to stop it, then it will come up, then you jump in this hole here. It's part of the story, so you need to come this way anyway. So as soon as you drop down into the uh, water, go all the way down to the bottom, and you'll see the artifact, soldier number 14. Okay, next one is going to be the Lifestone Shard number 11. Requirement is Shadow Fleet. So about 10 seconds away from the um, previous collectible, you'll be in this big room here with about 7 or more of these uh, ceiling creatures. Ignore them for now, go all the way to the end here and you'll see a Shadow Flight little section here. So yeah, once again the requirement is Shadow Flight to get this lifestone shard number 11. So jump up here, grab the crate, move it on to the next one. So the next collectible is quite a ways away. After you get your horse. Well done, but that was only practice for the Stygian. The biggest and meanest. So this is after you got your horse and you killed your first big worm. So now go through the only way possible and go through this area. During this area there will be bloody loads of um, enemies so kill them all. Eventually you'll come to this pond dash water area here. Jump down, go to the very bottom, go behind this rock here in front of you and you will find your artifact soldier number 15. So now, once you grab that, we're going to go to a place called Iron Canopy. This will be Wraith Shard number 8, the requirement is none. So on your way through the spider level, you'll walk across this bridge right here and it will collapse as soon as you walk over it. So continue on and look to the left, you'll see like a wooden fence off to your left, smash that and you'll find your Wraith Shard. We're getting close to the end of the collectibles. Yay! But we've still got a backtrack though. Certain places. So, Rave Shard number 9. The requirement is Crossblade. So, in this room with the um, spider underneath you, that you have to drop this thing onto the bottom so he pretty much falls on his back. And it gives you time to uh, shimmy across to the next area. But don't do that. Hang on to the, um, the stone here and do a back jump and you'll find the Wraith Shard this area is a story related area so you'll have to come through this area anyway so you cannot miss it so artifact soldier number 16 and the requirement is shadow flight so as soon as you've done that puzzle in the room with the spider that you have to knock on his back it will come out here Head up the stairs and you'll find the artifact on the other side on a building ledge. Okay, this area is when you get the the chain. So now in theory, we well we can go back and get some of the collectibles. It's just a few that we can't get yet. So this is the armor piece. So after you get the chain and you'll be in this area, you have to come through this area, so this is store related, you have to go through that door as well. So once you get in this area, look left and climb the growth. Use a chain to get across and you'll see that slow motion thing. But ignore that, look left and look up. There'll be another chain. Hook onto that and you'll see a chest. I picked this one up, but I thought I was a recording, but I wasn't. So the armor piece number seven will be there. So this is artifact champion number four and you need the chain for this one as well. So after you dealt with your second spider, like a mini boss, you have to kill four little spiders to um, gain access to the big boss. So you have to go all the way back to the first spider. So in this room, after you killed your second spider boss, you head your only way back. You see two doors in front of you. Go to the left door and use the chain. So you remember the area with the um, explosive on top of the, the stone there? So artifact soldier 17. Requirement is the chain. So after you kill Rogers, as soon as after you kill the boss, 
activate this and hook on. Go all the way to the very top. Actually, you don't have to actually, but I did it anyway. So I went to the top, then dropped down one floor. And you shall see a soul chest. And now if you turn around and go to the opposite end, and you'll find the artifact soldier number 17. And there it is. And that is it for this iron canopy. Alright, we're now going to get the armor piece number 8 in the Ashlands. So, in the Ashlands, look on the map, it's on the far right hand side in the middle. Go to this location, you'll see a, um, a shadow flight point. But yeah, you need the chain to get past this area here. I've gone past the collectible, but I'm going back to get it because I'm pretty much down on this side. So go across both of the chains and look on the right. You'll see a tower and next to the tower, you see another chain. Hook onto that. Go around here and you'll see the armor piece number eight. Two more to go. Okay, now you want to head back across three of them chains and you'll see one of the growths on the right hand side, but I fell down. So if you're not like me and didn't fell down, then good on you. And you'll see the growth off to your right. But if you fell down, just go back up to the shadow flight area. And you'll notice a growth on your left hand side. That's if you fell down. If you haven't fell down, then it's on to your right hand side. Okay, this is the growth shard number 10. You need the gaunt for this one. So stick to the right hand side and go straight. And you'll notice some blue crystals. Use the gauntlet to kill the crystals. Kill the crystals. Just uh, destroy them and you'll get the shard once you go through this area. Okay, on this one, I haven't shown you the location where I am. But if you remember, in the Ashlands, it's part of the mission. You have to stop this drill right here to get underground. And that where, well, was where the collectible was for the artifact soldier. But if you remember where this tower is, go to it then climb this tower to the top so this is the switch where you stop the first drill so now with the um, chain you'll see um, a swing well the, the abseil chain we're going to call it just swing across to the next location and stop the other drill but I will show you the location once I get to this drop off point here so, so don't worry if you're not sure where it is so now after this part you just want to drop down the very very bottom so now this is where I'm going to show you where I am now so if you're still not sure where to go so this is where I am so you have to go on the bottom tower first to get to this the second one so now all you need to do now is just drop down continue the only way possible until you run into the artifact overlord there is only one overlord artifact in the game so there's no more to pick up of these okay we're now going to do some of the serpent hole um, collectibles. So head towards the dry road. You have to head towards the dry road to get this to spawn. So as soon as you head to dry roads, turn around and backtrack. And you'll see the um, Wraith Shard number 11. The requirement is none, so don't worry about anything. Okay, now you want to tr fast travel to Anvil's Ford. So as soon as you are in the Anvil Ford serpent hole, now continue on until you get to the second set of, well sorry, the first set of stairs, sorry. You go down the second set right there and you'll see the um, the chain here off to your left and chain all the way across and you'll just see your rape shard at number 12 and of course the uh, requirement is the chain. There we go, pick it up. Okay, the next collectible is in um, Anvil Ford, but this is the entrance to Anvil Ford. So we're in Drowned Pass at the moment, so this is the exit of Drowned Pass. So exit Drowned Pass, and now you're in Anvil Ford. It doesn't say you're in it, but if you look on your map right now, it will change to Anvil Ford. 
So as soon as you leave Drowned Pass, go through the tunnel and head to the right. You'll see this blue stone here. Destroy it and go straight. Take left and you shall see the Wraith Shard number 13. Of course you need the Gauntlet to get this one. Okay, this is actually in Anvil's Ford now. Actually in it. The right place now. So you start there, go left through the door, go through three doors to get to this location. Ah, Capita, you made it. If it's the same as you, you should meet Wicked K. I think his name is Wicked K. And just deal with him. Of course, you see Wicked K in Darksiders 2 during the arena. It's part of the achievement. So just swing across here and you'll see your Wraith Shard number 14. I'll see you guys and girls in the next part of Darksiders.